our kids. They're our greatest natural resource. They are very literally our future. They're our next generation of doctors and teachers and political leaders and preachers and scientists and parents. We want what's best for them. We want them to have the best home possible, the best friends possible, the best community possible, and of course, the best education possible. In fact, so badly do we want this that we spend over $600 billion every year on education. We fully understand that the quality of their education will directly affect the quality of their future. And it's because we're always looking for ways to maximize our kids' educational opportunities that Common Core originally got started. But what started with good intentions has now morphed into something totally different. Common Core is no longer a project of the state governors, but has been co-opted by the federal government. And no longer is it merely general guidelines for core academic subjects, but essentially has become a national curriculum. It has become a heavy-handed, conform or else, bureaucratic program. But because Common Core has been in use for a number of years in several states and school districts, there is now much objective evidence from which we can evaluate its results. Frankly, its poor performance has spurred much of the rising opposition against it. Opposition from citizens, teachers, and even many political leaders. Let me give you eight reasons why Common Core has not turned out to be good for our kids, our schools, our states, or our nation. You can make a difference. Educate those around you, and then stand up for our future. God bless.